Hello everybody, my name is Dusk and welcome to another episode of Talon's Video Guide. In this guide, we're going to go over the Monk. The Monk is a melee based character that has a lot of mobility and deals high burst damage compared to the other characters. It's not as tough as a Barbarian, but it also has a lot of elemental attacks in it and is a very fun character to play. The Monk uses a spirit based system as a resource. Spirit is generated from spirit generating attacks similar to the rage generating attacks of the Barbarian, and spirit can be used uh, with secondary and defensive uh, and tactical skills of the Monk. The first ability of the monk is Fist of Thunder. You get this at level 1 and it generates 6 spirit per attack. Each attack does 110% damage in lightning and every third attack knocks back the enemy. Due to the fast attack speed of Fist of Thunder, you generate spirit using this much faster than the other spirit generating attacks. The second ability of the monk is Lashing Tail Kick. Lashing Tail Kick costs 30 spirit un and unleashes a really nice AoE attack that knocks the enemies back and deals 200% in weapon damage. This is basically an AoE attack around the monk that deals damage to everyone around you. This is basically used for a group of tight enemies that are going up against you and you need to knock them away and deal massive damage to them. The third ability of the monk is Deadly Reach. Deadly Reach generates 6 spirit per attack and projects lines of pure force over a short distance for 110% of the weapon damage. Every third hit hits a little bit further, and so it's basically used as a tonal AoE attack in front of you. I prefer uh, I prefer Fist of Thunder over this just because Deadly Reach is quite a lot slower than Fist of Thunder, and uh, because of how slow it is, you're not going to be able to clear weaker minions as fast as uh, Fist of Thunder. At level 4, the monk gets Blinding Flash. Blinding Flash is your first defensive ability. It costs 10 spirit and has a 15 second cooldown. This means it cannot be spammed continuously during a fight. What Blinding Flash does is it creates a flash of light around your monk that, uh, for a 20 yard radius that blinds them for 3 seconds. Blind enemies basically mean that they can't attack you. This works against weaker bosses such as King Leoric. Elite enemies do recover faster but suffer a 30% chance to miss with the attacks. The second secondary ability you get for the monk is Tempest Rush. Tempest Rush is unlocked at level 5 and it costs 15 spirit to activate it plus an initial 10 spirit per second while you're channeling. What it does is it basically charges through a group of enemies and it slows them and does minor damage to them. It slows them for 60 second, 60 percent for two seconds, while it does 50 percent weapon damage to them. This is basically used to run through a group of enemies that you're not really intending to kill, unless you have a weapon that does a lot of damage. At level six, the monk gains its first runic ability for Fist of Thunder. The first runic ability is called Thunderclap. What it does is it teleports you to the target and releases an electrical shockwave with every punch that hits all the enemies within a 6 yard radius for 35% of your weapon in lightning damage. So this basically means that your first attack will teleport you to the target enemy immediately and attack them. This is really really nice for closing the distance and makes you really mobile across the battlefield taking out key targets that other characters may or may not be able to reach. At level 7, the monk gains its first runic ability for Lashing Tail Kick. It's called Vulture Claw Kick. Instead of doing 200% weapon damage, it does 220% weapon damage as fire and causes all enemies to get knocked back. This is a simple upgrade to the Lashing Tail Kick and should be used at all times if you like getting yourself in the middle of a lot of weak enemies and killing them all in one full At level 8, the monk unlocks Breath of Light. Breath of Light costs 25 spirit and has a 15 second cooldown. It is the monk's second defense ability, and it heals you and all your enemy, all your allies within a 12 yard radius for a large amount of health. At level 9, the monk un unlocks two abilities. The first ability is Dashing Strike. Dashing Strike is in the new Techniques slot, so you're not going to be replacing any of your previous uh, skills with Dashing Strike, and it quickly dashes to your target enemy location, dealing 100% of your weapon damage and rooting the target for one second. Rooting just basically means they cannot move, but they can still attack. Dashing Strike is very similar to Thunderclap in the uh, Runic version of Fist of Thunder. So basically, you can use Dashing Strike to hit another target, Thunderclap to teleport to another target, and you're just zooming around the battlefield doing tons of damage and being extremely mobile. Also at level 9 you get the first runic ability for Deadly Reach. It's called Piercing Trident and what it basically does is it increases the area of effect for your second and third strikes. This essentially means that your Deadly Reach attacks are going to cause a lot more damage to a lot more units in your radius assuming that you're fighting large clumps of weaker enemies. At level 10, the monk unlocks two passive abilities. The first one's called Fleet Footed and increases your movement speed by 10%. This is always going to be useful in combat and out of just for traveling around the dungeon. At level 10, the monk also gets another passive ability called Resolve. You may choose between Fleet Footed or Resolve, but not both, at least not at level 10. At level 20, you unlock a second passive, passive slot in which you can choose another passive. But anyway, what Resolve does is if you damage an enemy, they, they deal reduced damage to you by 25% for 2.5 seconds. So what this basically means is that if you use a lot of AoE attacks, you're going to basically be taking 25% less damage to any enemy that 
you hit that hits you back. So if you use something like Tempest Rush that where you run through a large group of enemies, you're going to be taking 25% less damage on them should they choose to decide to damage you back or right? chase you. These are the level 1 through 10 skills from the monk. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave in the section below. But otherwise, my name is Dusk, and I'll see you guys later.